Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So as you can see, we're going to be doing Act 7.2.6. Yes, that includes the Gwen Master fight. Okay, so here's the team that I'm going in with to clear the lane. And I'm going to walk you through the easy path for completion. Okay, and that's the path there that starts with Spider-Ham. It's an energy adoption path. Now, this video is not a guide on exploration. So I'm not gonna go through every path and, and talk to you about different counters. But if you're looking to just complete, that's what this is. It's a walkthrough for completion. So you see the nodes that we're gonna be dealing with on this path. Now, I'm gonna be using Ghost. If you have Ghost, this path is going to be easy. Now, there are two fights on this path that I didn't use Ghost, and I'll talk about that when we get there. But for the most part, Ghost handles this path very, very well. Uh, she can do every fight on this path, uh, but there were two fights that I like to fight with someone else uh, other than Ghost. All right, so first up is Spider-Ham. Now, with energy adoption, you know, you are going to, uh, if your ghost is uh, awakened, you're gonna start in phase. So you're gonna start with three Furies because you're gonna get that energy adoption debuff. This one is fire, plus whatever suicides, if you're running suicides, you'll start with three as you saw me start with. Now, when you're fighting, what you wanna do is one hit combos now i don't know what happened there but we managed to get him on the second uh and third hit of our special two now notice don't look at that i don't know what happened there but notice that when i hit my opponent or when my opponent hits me i'm getting these incinerates but i can phase those out and convert them into furies that is why ghost is such an awesome uh option for this path by the way i hate fighting spider ham he's already got me in the corner look at this very annoying very annoying spider ham okay now one of the th reasons that i don't often go with a special two is because if i get incinerate on one of the hits of the special two i'm gonna have that incinerate for the entire special and then I'll be able to phase it out. So I'm gonna be taking damage that I don't really have to. So you can either do a special two just to speed things up, which is what I usually do, or you can just stick with one hit combos, okay? Now, Mordo is another tricky fight. And did you, I don't know if you saw that, but did you see that he did a light attack real quick? You have to watch for that because the AI will do that to mess up your timing when you're using Ghost. Now, if you don't have Ghost, there are other options for this path. And you see that I also brought in Kingpin. And Kingpin with, I believe, the Hood Synergy will shrug off a lot of that. You know, so there are other options. Kingpin with, um, I think it's Hood. Uh, Havoc is a good one. You could also, of course, bring an Incinerate Immune Champion. Havoc and Incinerate Immune. All right, so uh, you do have other options besides Ghost. And I still believe that this is the easy path, even if you don't have Ghost. As long as you have one of those other uh, options. Uh, but look at that. Down he goes. He's also a little tricky because he'll get really passive. And normally he will not attack you when he's got the power game phase, but sometimes he will. And that's so annoying when he does that. Okay, so uh, I thought about this one. You have to be careful if you're using Ghost because Red Guardian can block unblockables. I got wrecked because of that uh, when he first came out. So you see here, I'm doing one hit combos. Uh, I could let him hit me a few more times and build up more um, uh, power, but 
I decided not to. This is my six star, by the way. Uh, now watch this. See how I, I did that. I didn't do my normal way of firing off my special two. I baited out his attack first. That way I won't get caught by that unblockable shield that he would then just block my special two and then wreck me afterwards. So I actually played it as if I didn't have Wasp. Okay, what I did there, even if I didn't have Wasp, it would have worked. So uh, just, just a little something to keep in mind if you're using uh, Ghost. All right, now next up is another fight I do not like. And that's Annihilus. Now, I've fought Annihilus with Ghost. But you have to be very careful because if you get caught, if there's any mistakes, he's going to put an armor break on you. And that's going to mess you up. You're not going to be able to phase. And it's very easy to get caught in there. So instead, I had already explored the path. And I said, all right, I'm going to bring in... Um, couple of other options and for this one it's going to be kingpin now watch look at the incinerates he's getting incinerates on him okay but for the most part this one's stuck but for the most part he shrugs him off and and converts him okay but look at his health look at that so he got an incinerate converted it to a rage and look at it. he has no debuffs on him right now and he's got 100 health Okay, now he's hitting into me, but as you can see, Kingpin is also a great option uh, for this path. I don't really use Kingpin a lot, so uh, I'm not the best at fighting with him, but I figured, you know, like I said, I hate fighting Annihilus, uh, but I figured whatever damage I can do to Annihilus, I could finish him off with somebody else, if I don't finish him off with Kingpin. All right, so anyway, uh, that's that fight. So something else that uh, I'll talk about is in Act 7, you can select a champion to swap out, all right, before the boss. That's happened in all of Act 7. So by the time you're seeing this, you probably already know that. However, this one is different. You can do two. So Kingpin and Havoc, I brought in for the path, but before I get to the boss, I can swap both of them out. So that is really nice. That meant that I could bring in whoever I wanted uh, for, you know, these couple of counters, and then I'd be able to do, you know, two swaps. All right, you see, he was just getting wrecked. I, I, I just can't fight with him. Don't ask me why. All right, I love his special three. It just looks brutal. Boom, boom, boom. And then, mm, just, ah, brutal. Okay, that's why I didn't skip it. All right, then he was stunned. And I was like, yeah, finished him off, okay? So there are other options that you can choose to help you clear your paths. So even if you don't have Ghost, you have a lot of incinerate immune champions that you could choose. Um, you've got uh, Kingpin with the synergy that you can choose as well. Now, here's another guy I don't like fighting. Uh, and I don't like his animations. I really just don't. Uh, I know, you know, some people love it, but I just don't. So this guy, I want to do one hit combos because he likes to evade at weird times and then wreck me. But with Ghost, one hit, he can't evade that. Now, I did do something that I shouldn't do against uh, Mr. Fantastic, and that's this. I fired off a special two. Now, the reason I say that is because if you'll see there, what happens is that against Mr. Fantastic, your special, basically it gets nerfed. Whatever special you use, is going to get nerfed for the rest of your quest. And with Ghost, you don't really want her special two nerfed. You see that two up there? So before this fight is over, as you see right there, 
I fire off another special because it's a special that I don't usually use. All right. So I'm just like, okay, yeah, let's, we, we can do the special one. And then from this point on, I'm like, no, I'm not going to do my special two again. All right. And uh, we're just going to do like one hit combos at this point. No special two, just one hit, no evading, just one hit, and he's done. Okay. Um, not a bad fight with Ghost. I don't know what was happening uh, earlier. I've been getting a few uh, issues uh, with the inputs, so, um, and I don't usually. So I was like, hmm, I don't know if that's the input issue. Was I just messing up? Not sure. All right, so. Long shot. I don't like long shot. He's sneaky. And his special two can wreck you hard. But Havoc is a great option. Okay. So Havoc, as you see, just look off to the left. You'll see that um, he gets a lot of immune, immune, immune. He's incinerate immune. Okay. Now, this fight, I decided to play it just, you know, kind of slow play it not really doing much um his immunity i tried to um bait out the special one but i'm not scared of the special two with havoc anyway so all i'm gonna do is build up to my special three and fire it off now what i'm doing here is i'm waiting out the plasma you see plasma charges are six okay and i want to maximize my special three damage there's eight all right and i'm just waiting it out there's ten i should have done it here all right um i think did i did i manage to get it because you don't want if you go i think it's 12 um it resets it just you know plasma explosion uh detonation or whatever and then you're back to building them up again. Uh, so I was trying to just maximize uh, my special three damage. Uh, and I know at least one of these times I didn't. Now I am running suicide, so I'm taking a lot of damage from my suicides and block damage and all that good stuff, okay? But it's something that I just accept. All right, um, just look at this. And I've started, uh, there we go. That was the plasma detonation there. But I wasn't at a special three, so it was okay. And all I'm doing at this point, building up to another special three. Now, if I don't want to take any block damage from his special, I could just, you know, evade it like normal. But I was doing this just because I wanted to speed things up a little bit. All right, so there we go. He's got 10 now. Okay, and there, see, that's where I messed up. So did you see that it went to 10 and the next one was 12, plasma detonate, boom. And now there's none. And so I'm now like, okay, well, let's wait it out a little bit more. You know, there's seven, you know, just trying to maximize it. Uh, nine, there's 10 and I'm like, okay, let's do this. All right, so that's pretty much this fight uh havoc has one of the more devastating special threes in the game all right did you see that look at how much damage that did all right so this fight was a little long but a hey, you know it was it was relatively safe okay one more special and boom done so it went a little bit long but we were okay never really in any danger you can see the stats here my liquid courage did a whole lot more damage than anything so like i said most of the damage uh because i ran suicides all right so now we're to the boss and see we can now choose a character so that's the first one all right so we're gonna swap out and we're gonna swap out professor x if you watched recently, you know that I took him to rank three. It doesn't really matter for this fight, but I did it anyway because he's useful. 
Now we're going to fight a regular Gwenpool. She's not the boss. Very easy, as you can see, 16K. Nothing to it, okay? So I said, you know what? I'm not going to even risk taking any damage. Let's go in with Ghost and uh, just take her out. Yeah, see? Real easy. One hit, one hit, one hit. Boom. And she's down. Very easy. Now... We get another node. This is not something that we uh, got in previous Act 7 quests. So there's the next node. And now we can do another character select. I love that. Okay, so the next one, I'm going to choose Nick Fury. When I watched people do this fight, I saw Nick Fury and I saw Professor X. The reason I favor Professor X is because... I saw that there was reverse controls. Now, this is my first time fighting Gwen Master. I've watched some videos, but this is the first time. So she has, uh, I think it was it six phases. You know, I looked through this, but I'm really showing it just to show it. It really didn't help me all that much. And uh, I will talk to you about uh, each of the phases and what I uh, what I did and how I messed up uh, a little bit later. I, I, I do include uh, my mess ups uh, so you guys can see it. This is, like I said, the first fight against Gwen Master. And uh, full transparency, I must have used about 12 revives. I'm already back to capped out on all my revives, but I must have used about 12, half of them was because I was stupid, all right? And I'll talk more about that, all right? Here's my um, current mastery setup. I went out and I took off my suicides because I'm gonna use a lot of specials, all right? So that's one thing that, that was a little annoying to me. I had to turn off my suicides, so you saw I put it back, just did not put the suicides on. So I, I don't recommend suicides for this fight. I'm sure you can do it with suicides, but it really doesn't help and it can potentially hurt. Okay, so first phase is mutant, all right? You have to dodge a special one with four prowesses. So she's gonna gain prowess by you pushing her to a special one now you saw there when you have less than a bar of power. So now she has one uh, prowess. Now what you wanna do is fire your special off just like that. And now she has two prowesses because you had less than a bar of power and you pushed it to a special by using your special. That seems to be the easiest way to do it. All right, see right there, almost boom. Now she's got three. Looks pretty simple and easy, right? All right, so. And here we go. Now, here, this right here confused me. Why didn't she have a, a fourth prowess at this point? This caught me. And then I did that. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Really? Okay, now we got her to her special. And we finished it. Okay, first try. And we got it. All right. Now, you see, I, I paused it because I went to go check what I needed to do. And the skill plot armor, okay? She's gonna gain unstoppable, annoying, but you just have to hit her, hit her a lot. Try to intercept often, um, interrupt her heavy attacks, and all that good stuff to pause the timer. And that's pretty much what you're doing. Okay, now, uh, this first time through, I went ahead and, uh, yeah, I messed up there. Um, I went to the special three. All right. As soon as I got a special three off, you can see that I'm, I'm just basically beating her down. Okay. And I've got plenty of time here, but we're losing some time. Okay. She don't want to throw the special one. I'm just like, come on. There we go. I intercepted her to stop the timer a little bit. And again, she's still not doing it. And I'm like, okay, come on. All right. There we go. I'm uh, now the timer is done. And she gets me. And I'm like, are you kidding me? 
All right, so it was going well. And uh, we didn't get it. So people were asking what happens if you don't get the phase down. This is what happens. You have to start it over. Now, we had enough health to survive her special two this time. Okay, but that's what happens. That is what happens. You just have to restart that phase. I didn't have to go back to the first phase, which was the mutant one. I just have to restart this one. And then she got the unstoppable, all that good stuff. Yes, yes, yes. All right. And I'm one of the things that, that catches me is that I'm watching the counter up there rather than watching her. And so I get caught sometimes. Okay. But, you know, we're doing much better now. Look at this. We got her down. She's. Look at this. We got it. Look at this. this we're doing good. Okay. This was our second time trying to get this uh, phase down. And then I did that because I got impatient and forgot that you don't hit into her block. We had it. We had it. We could have fired off a special three. We had it. But again, this is the first time that I'm doing this. And so I'm learning. Like I said, these things, um, as I got more familiar with the fight, that's what, uh, you know, I learned. I learned. All right. So I decided to switch over to um, Nick Fury. One of the reasons is that I could do that. Fire off that special and do a lot of hits in his special one. Okay, look at that. She's already down to like uh, 27 now. Real easy, right? And so look at this. Look at this. Not even a problem. Much, much easier than, than I was doing uh, earlier. Down to 11. All right. Look at this. Eight, seven, six. Okay. And then I fire that off. Do do doom. All of them are done. And the phase is over. So now we've got this next one, which is science. In this phase, you can see, I like to pause it so you guys can read that. So you can pause the video as well. But you just have to destroy that armor. And Nick Fury is great because, see how she goes invisible? As long as you have a bleed on her, just like with Invisible Woman, the shield is not going to stay very long. Now, Professor X can also do it as long as you have enough charges. Um, if you have enough charges, you can ignore, uh, and I think I do that in this, um, in this video, but Nick Fury works out much better. And I think afterwards, yeah, see, I didn't get the shield down. Uh, and so I had to start over again. Uh, so I'm just like, man, so you see, I tried to intercept right there and she backed off. All right. But here, yeah, see starting to intercept a little bit more uh, because that timer was not my friend. Okay. And then see, I had the bleed, so it went off. And I'm just, yeah, see, I'm trying to intercept a little bit more. Um, got the bleeds on her, but it went off. So, you know, we should be good. And just look at this, man. She still has 54 <laughs> on her shield. And I'm just like, oh my goodness. So intercept again, and this time I fired my special three off. You'll notice I didn't fire any specials other than my three. That's gonna be important later, okay? So that did a lot of damage to her shield, all right? She's down to 42, but I don't have a lot of time left, okay? So here we go, I'm intercepting, intercepting, trying to, trying to you know, do what I can here, all right? She's locked, boom. I got it down. So towards the end, I started intercepting like a fiend. Okay. Now we've got the next one, which is Mystic. And it's a very straightforward one. You need to knock her down. Okay. With four different knockdowns. So that's a heavy attack, special one, special two, special three. You also get an energize after each one. I remember watching this uh, on somebody else's, uh, uh, watching them do it. And I wondered why they started with a heavy. Why not start with like a special three? It's because you get that energize after each one, which makes it easier to get to the next one. So you want to do it in that order. 
Okay, so you want to do a heavy attack. You get the energize, build up to a special one, which is going to be faster now because of the energize. You fire the special one off. You see, I have two energizes up there. Now I did a special two. Now I've got three energizes. And so now I can build up to a special three. So pretty straightforward. See, I tried to get a, a intercept in there. All right, but she wasn't playing. There we go. Got the intercept. Got another intercept. Boom, I'm at a special three. Easy, okay? Very, very easy phase uh, to complete. And uh, once again, I like to, you know, use this opportunity, not just because I like the special, but because it gives me time to like kind of relax. And you'll notice that she's doing damage to herself. That's why I said earlier, it didn't really matter. Okay, so you see Cosmic Plot or whatever, while away, armor breaks, I hated this one. I hated this one with a passion, okay? Um, so what you have to do here is stay away from her, okay? And get 10 armor breaks on you before she, you know, um, before the timer runs out, all right? So I hate this, and you still wanna try to intercept or else the time is gonna run out. So I've got four, I got five, all right? And the timer is just running out. I got six. I don't want to get caught in the corner because then I'll never get it. Okay, so I fired this off to try and get her away from me. All right, I've got eight. Okay, I got nine. All right, and now I just need another one. I tried to intercept, didn't work. She didn't follow me. All right, and here we go. I fired off a special one to keep her away. Got the 10, barely got the 10. And then she still managed to hit me, but I did finish this phase. Okay, so that's the phase. Whew. Tech. Um, oh man, I paused it uh, a little bit too quickly here for the um, uh, 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 tech. Um, but you need to break her armor. So if you have an armor break champ at this point, it, it goes very, very fast. But I didn't, so I'm trying to do light ending attacks to break that armor, okay? And you see, I was just doing some uh, intercepts and I let her build up another one. Now this one, I didn't quite understand because you'll notice that she blocked that, okay? And I'm like, oh, why did she keep blocking it? You know, again, this is the first time I'm doing this. So, um, you want, if you're going to use Nick Fury, you want him to be unblockable. So you want to, uh, if you're familiar with Nick Fury, you want him to be unblockable and then you won't have too much of a problem there. But I had to learn. I had to learn. So here's one of my, uh, revives here. You can see, um, I've got, I'm capped out, capped out on, uh, revives and health potions and, you know, so I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Uh, folks were asking me, um, did you ever use, a, a you know, units to, re uh, buy revives when you're doing story content? No, because my stash usually looked like that. Uh, so there was no need. Okay. So here we go. We're trying it again. All right. So see, she's blocking again and I'm just like, Ugh. Look at that. I'm trying to get that that special. And again, I'm not getting what's happening here. I'm still not getting it. And so she's blocking me and I'm trying to get the armor down. And I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Okay. But I told you, you want Nick Fury. If you're going to use Nick Fury, you want him um, unblockable. Uh, now, there's another I forgot. You, you see how long? this screen is, that's because I was like, okay, what in the world is happening? So now watch this. I go in with um, Wasp here. Watch the armors, okay? Just watch this. Down the two, right? You just need uh, to get the armors off, all right? And I'm just like, okay, look at this, boom. Heavy attack, all right. Look at that, tried it and got blocked again. And I'm just like, what is happening? All right, so I fire this special off. Okay, I intercept it. 
She's up to four. And towards the end here, I'm just like, oh, okay. Now watch this. Intercept. Boom. Look at this. Three. Two. Boom. Boom. She's stunned. One. Oh, almost. Almost. No, almost. So towards the end, I almost got it. Really, really dislike this phase as well, but this was more because of my lack of knowledge. Okay. That's why uh, that was happening. You know, I was thinking, okay, I just have to do the light ending combo and I'm good. That's not all I had to do. All right. So in this case, I, I use a little bit more because it doesn't really make any sense um, healing him past that. So here, you know, we're down to four again. Boom. And I'm just like, okay, okay. All right. All right, there she go, blocking. You see, I only hit her once. Just tapping, tapping. Fire the heavy off, uh-huh. All right, and then the special one. Okay, okay. All right, and then there we go. Look at that. We're doing all right now. There, look at that. We're doing good. Everything's going good. All right, she almost got pushed to a special two. All right, here we go. All right, now she's just going real crazy, but I was ready for it. Now I'm unblockable. All right, so here we go. All right, unblockable. Boom, and we're done. So much easier when you're unblockable as Nick Fury. And we're done, okay? So if you're using Nick Fury, that's what you wanna do. Okay, so that's all the phases, all right? Now, you saw me go through all the phases. Now, going through them, you know, it just starts back over again until she's dead. So you would think at this point, I've got it. I've already done it once, right? Yeah, that's what I thought too. And that's why I ended up using another five revives at least on one phase because I didn't look. And like, see here? This, this is the first phase I did, right? And I want you to see this. Three. We got three prowesses, and look how much time we have left. Beautiful. We rock this, right? So we just need to get a fourth one. All right, so here we go. And I'm like, I have less than a, a bar of power, right? So we should be good at this point, right? Boom. Why is she not at three? I mean, at four right here. That tripped me out, all right? But here, we've got the four, okay? And da-da-da, boom. We're good, okay? Now we just have to wait for her to fire that off, and we're good. I don't know why that was, but it's all good. Now, I paused it just to remind myself um, of what the skill one did, but I didn't go look at a video. Like, in the first time, I was watching a video and trying to do it the way they did it. All right, so here we go with the counter punches. Okay, now I showed you the final one, but I used like five or six revives on that first phase, wondering why I wasn't getting my fourth prowess. Didn't know why. Um, but you need to push her, just to be safe, push her to her special when you have less power by throwing your special. Don't just push her there, okay? So anyway, you see here, we're doing this and I fired off my special three. Um, and there's gonna be another one that, oh my goodness, I was so annoyed, all right? So you see here, all right? We, we almost got it. She's got 19 left. We just need to, um, you know, uh, uh, get get her uh, to throw that special. All right, got some more counter punches to go. All right, 
Uh, yeah. We we uh, paused it with an intercept, and we died. I wanted to show you guys that. So, I was completely stunned. Now, this is not the first time that happened. I just wanted to show you that because that's the last time it happened. The first few times I used another bunch of revives, at least two or three, in that manner. I fired up a special. Now, I want you to see something. I'm not in that phase. And I was not ready for this. Because I thought that because I died, I was going to have to do that phase over because she never fired off her special two i just went on to the next phase and so i was i was like what wait what's going on what happened you know i was like what and then i looked and i was like wait a minute i'm in the next phase i'm like oh, okay you know you see her she's down to three percent health and i'm just like okay i'm i'm already in the science phase i i didn't know i moved on all right so now i switched back to nick fury since he's the one that I like to use for this. So I used up uh, most of my revives on the mutant because I did not refresh my mind. And that little, you know, push him to a, a special one when I had less than a bar of power, but I wasn't getting that fourth prowess. And that messed me up a few times. And then, as you saw there, that got me. I was firing my specials off, you know, towards the end to kind of speed things up and dying and not realizing why. Don't do that. Don't fire your specials off. Okay, you can fire a special three off, but don't fire a special one or two off. Okay, so here we go. And she killed herself. And we're done with Gwen Master. And that is the completion of Act 7.2. So that's gonna do it, guys. I hope this has helped you out when you are running your completion. All right, so uh, take care. Don't make the mistakes I made. Um, watch videos. Watch this video. Obviously, you're watching it already. Um, but take care, and you all have a blessed day.